It's the best selling candy bar in the world, so we are going to attempt eating a whole lot of foods featuring it for today's challenge. Yeah, no, if everybody likes Snickers, everyone should also like this video. And I would like to start with the donuts, so let's do that. All right, so we've got these Snickers donuts. We've got a glazed donut with chocolate frosting, and then it's got caramel, and it's got peanut butter, and it's got Snickers. Look at this bag. I am excited to get started today. Well, let's do it. Heck yeah. We've got a whole can of it. Why not? Extra creamy whipped cream. I'm hey, lucky that didn't get on the camera. <laughs> I'm loving these flavors with the donut. Oh yeah. Only made better. Mm -hmm. Awesome way to start. Great. Actually, before we keep moving, let's do the ice cream bars because those are probably already very soft. Absolutely. Here you go. All right, Snickers ice cream bar. Have we had the Snickers ice cream bar? I, I We have to have. I know we've had the Twix one, which is very good. Let's try it. No complaint. It's so light. Peanut butter ice cream is a good move for them. Mm -hmm. A fantastic five seconds. Yep, good thing we took it down then because it already had gotten extremely soft because that ice cream is extremely airy, extremely light, which is nice with the crunch of the outside of that shell and then the peanuts, really good. But we have a whole lot of this, so I'm thinking about maybe like tackling like two slices before we get into other things. Love it. Now, do you want to explain to everyone what this is? I believe it's essentially a peanut butter pie made with caramel and Snickers with a chocolate cookie crumb crust. Check it out. It's because absolutely stunning. It's a peanut butter mousse base. This is our first time trying this and I am excited. Yeah, it looks awesome. Are you kidding me? You know it. They call that a chocolate cookie crumb crust. That is straight fudge. Yes. I'm hoping that you can see how unbelievable this is. Wow. I am going to attempt to explain this to people. But, I don't, luck, even, man. but I don't even know what I am eating. It is so unique to itself. I've never had anything like it in my life, but it's almost like some sort of like a peanut butter cheesecake type, like type consistency on like a chewy, fudgy brownie with the thickest caramel of all time. Then you got the crunch of the peanuts and you've got frosting on the back of it. It could not be any better than it is. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. No, it's absolutely amazing, and it is the epitome of the word decadent. Up next, I think that anyone that doesn't have a stomach of steel like us would already have a stomach ache just from one of those. 100%. Next up, Snickers ice cream. We brought waffles to put the ice cream on because it's more fun to eat with our hands in these food challenges. And if we have too much ice cream, I would say we put one on one of the Snickers cookies. Yes, these are actually Snickers cookies. It's like a peanut butter cookie. It's got like peanut butter bits. It's got chocolate. It's got caramel in it. Yeah, and then the waffle. That'd be fun. That is a fun ice cream. I'm gonna show this to them before we doctor it all up. That way they can see the actual ice cream and how many mixes there are. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna add Sanders uh, caramel. We've never had this brand. We bring caramel like every week to this <laughs> yeah. channel, but this one seems fun and it seems new. So we're gonna try that. And we're also going to put peanuts on it. 
probably some whipped cream. Let's do it. Oh wow, this thing is a consistency. I guess I need to show them before putting it onto the wow. waffle. Holy cow. Well, that's half of that container done. More than half of it, wow. Let's do some peanuts. Okay, this is excessive. Wow, this plate of food weighs like a million pounds. All right, I'm just gonna do this from the get-go. Ah. Let's attempt eating it. It's so epic. That caramel is so good. It might be the best one we've had so far. Wow! What's up guys, hope you are all enjoying the video so far. And while this is a significant amount of Snickers items on the table, this is not an every Snickers product video, but pretty much everything we were able to get our hands on between the multiple stores that we went to, plus the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, and after the response that we got to that one pound Snickers bar that we had in our Valentine's video, and then the multiple Snickers products we had in our 100 candy bars video, we figured it was time to dedicate an entire challenge to it. So make sure to hit the like button if you like Snickers, and subscribe to the channel if you watch our videos weekly and you're not yet subscribed. We want to keep making these videos, and that's a way that you can help us do so. That's probably the messiest thing that we've ever had on this channel, but my goodness, that hit so hard. That caramel, caramel caramel, you know, is insane. And going with honey roasted peanuts, totally a move. Absolutely. Honey roasted peanuts on an ice cream sundae all day. And that waffle hit so hard. It was nice and vanilla -y, nice and fluffy, and then the ice cream just made it melt in your mouth. All right, let's show you this one now. It probably doesn't look half as good on camera as it does in person. In person, it's just like, all you're seeing is that, that caramel. The caramel folks are dying in this video. <laughs> Here's an idea. What if I always say caramel and pecan and you always say caramel and pecan? That'd be a move. Not gonna happen. <laughs> There are many people that are thrilled that that is over. <laughs> what a mess. Now I'm gonna see if I have more napkins. I do. Thank God. But what a time. Yeah, that was awesome. I think I preferred the waffle. That's all I have left to say about it. The cookie was delicious though. Um, next, what I think is because that moose cake cheesecake thing blew me away so much. I have to relive the Cheesecake Factor's Cheesecake Factory's Caramelicious Snickers Cheesecake, yes. which I think I had that in our Cheesecake Factory Challenge. Yeah, yeah. not. Nah. Let's relive that and see how it stacks up next to that one. I'm very curious right I now. think I need to do a side-by-side -side for the viewers. Let's get this all set up. All right, this, look, this is a funny little side-by-side. -side. So here's the Cheesecake Factory's Caramelicious with Snickers. And here is that restaurant supply store Snickers cake thing that I'm not really sure, quite sure what it is. That's a lot of fun to see side by side. Let's get a little closer one last time. One of the top things about that waffle sundae thing was it wasn't overly decadent. No, it was so well balanced. I absolutely loved it. I can't believe how good that turned out. All right. Here we go. I think this is our first time eating Cheesecake Factory with our hands, like, like a slice of their actual cheesecake. It always hits. Let's just not even bother high-fiving because of the way that we're holding this. But just know, it gets a five stars. That is richness and decadence at its finest. Oh yeah. 
And seeing twice now in this video, I have mentioned eating with our hands. A comment that we've gotten actually quite a few times is if we wash our hands before our videos. And I would just like to answer that question with, our table is always clean at the beginning of the videos, the room's clean, we're mostly clean, everything's very well thought out. So yes, washing our hands is a part of that process. Do you have any thoughts? I underestimated how thick and rich that this challenge was going to be. Oh yeah. But I love the chocolate frosting on the Cheesecake Factory's cheesecake. And it made this feel like eating a jar of peanut butter with a spoon. <laughs> this thing is so thick. I thought they were both probably the most rich and decadent things you could ever eat, but I cannot believe that I am the guy I never would have seen this coming in my entire life, but I am the guy to have such a love affair with the Cheesecake Factory. I know, right? right? <laughs> We've talked about it enough. Most people probably already know that. But man, I absolutely love it. They keep impressing me. Last week's video, this week's video, I think they're both are gonna get the top number one item. We've been splurging on the Cheesecake Factory for two weeks in a row. But anyways, <laughs> what to next? Um, let's do at least at least one or two of these candy bars, because we've gotta get some of those out of the way, not leave them to the very end. Maybe we should do the peanut butter Snickers versus the almond butter Snickers. I love that. I don't think we've had the almond butter Snickers before, so that's fun. Which one are we doing first? <clears throat> let's do the let's do the crunchy peanut butter. Now, if you want most of our opinions on most of the different Snickers bars, we just ate 100 American candy bars and had like a decent variety in that video. We kind of like ranked them, but uh, we didn't have the almond butter in that, in that because like it's super hard to come by. I haven't really seen it in most places. But I think in that video we had just the regular peanut butter. I don't think we had the crunchy peanut butter. I don't remember. So here is the crunchy peanut butter Snickers, and here is the almond butter. Crunchy peanut butter. That's an outstanding, outstanding Snickers product. I think we put that in second place in that video, but it deserves to be high on the list. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how the almond butter stacks up. The peanut butter is definitely better, but it's nice. It's definitely a more tame flavor, like a little bit more subtle, it creeps in. I was gonna say, it kind of tones down everything. Mm -hmm. I really, really like the almond butter one. Mm -hmm. But if you gave it to me blindfolded, I don't think I would have even guessed it was a Snickers product. No, actually, I definitely I definitely agree with you. I wouldn't have. But I must say that if you like things that are really soft and don't take a lot to chew, I would go with the peanut butter. If you want something that's going to take a while to eat, get the almond butter. For some reason, that one was so much more chewy and lasted so much longer than the peanut butter one, which just seemed to kind of dissolve. Well, I'm seeing more cookies in the near future, but one thing I would not mind doing before we move on to that is doing my favorite Snickers bar that we found out in that 100 candy bars video, which is the almond, and then side by siding that with the almond brownie, which we haven't had. True? Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's do it. Got it. All right, so here's the almond brownie. Wow, that's like, that's like midnight black. Yeah. Wow. That, that probably just looks like a piece of charcoal on camera. I didn't even realize it until right now, but that's actually dark chocolate coating, not milk chocolate. Yeah, and so then here is the almond, which is, like like Pete said, I think it's our favorite Snickers bar. Okay, let's try the brownie one. Mm -hmm. I can't say I like it all that much. It's way too much for me. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one more. Yep. That's the one. All right. Traditional almond Snickers all day over the other one. If you like things super sweet, go for the traditional almond Snickers because that thing's hitting me in the back of the throat. Whereas the other one was a lot more tame, not quite as aggressive. But I'm thinking we gotta move on. 
and I would like to make a cookie sandwich with one of these slices of peanut butter, Snickers, cake, whatever the whatever it is. <laughs> Alright, now I'm thinking that we add more caramel to that and maybe some peanuts. Cool. Both, making both of them? But yeah, I'm gonna make it into a sandwich, like I said. I gotta show it to him before I close it up. Okay. That looks pretty sick. Yeah. Ugh. I'll tell you what, guys. When we got all this stuff back home, got it all out, started laying it out, trying to see what we had. I thought, that's not that much. It's not gonna be. It, it's not gonna be a particularly difficult challenge. I was completely wrong. This is a lot more than it looks because it's all so incredibly dense. Yeah. It's, have, this is the richest challenge that we've probably done in a while. I'm gonna be saying goodbye to the bathroom for quite a while. Oh. That's wild. Wow. Now obviously we've had a number of Snickers products in this video so far, so make sure to drop a comment with which one you would have liked to try most. Would it be the Snickers donut? Would it be that Sunday creation? Would it be this cookie creation? Would it be the Cheesecake Factory? Or just comment your favorite Snickers flavor. There are so many. As far as my favorite in this video, it's between the waffle and the Cheesecake Factory. I am torn between those two. That was another fun one. We've come up with some good creations today so far. But I do think that I'm actually experiencing some level of flavor fatigue. We almost never do, but this one has having its way of, of just kind of annihilating my palate at this point. Yeah, couldn't agree more. What do you want to go to? <laughs> what do you want to go to next? I'm not quite sure. I think that we should experiment, maybe put a couple of, uh, of candy bars on that. But maybe before we do that, um, we have the cinnamon roll, the cinnamon bun Snickers, and that was the only one in our 100 candy bars challenge that we really, really, really didn't like in terms of the Snickers. So I have no idea why we brought it. Maybe we should just try to see if we can like it. I'm thinking maybe, maybe just like covering it in caramel, pounding that, and then maybe starting to like put candy on, like on this cake. So, sounds good. All right, so here's the cinnamon bun Snickers. Let me cut it this time. I remember, I think I said it reminded me somewhat of eggnog to some capacity, but I just didn't like the uh, cinnamon flavor with the chocolate on this. Yeah, that was the thing that I think we may have already said, but if they did this flavor in white chocolate, it would make a whole lot more sense to me. Yep, I'm just gonna put caramel on it, we'll try it, and then we'll move on. I have almost done this entire thing with caramel. I know, me too. Nothing can save that bar. It is a terrible chocolate bar. Absolutely awful. All right. I thought that it had to be better than I thought it was in that video. And I was wrong. This is so bad. It hits you in the back of the throat and the flavors just don't work. Think about doing the white chocolate one. Okay. Man, I underestimated this video. What the heck? I know. <laughs> we are here. And I am in complete disbelief. And I think minor denial <laughs> yeah. about the fact that this is actually as hard as it is. Yeah. Also, Nate got two of these small snick uh, white Snickers and I got the full size or like the big pack thinking, I, I just forgot that he had grabbed it. So we have even more white instead of leaving it out of the video. Yeah, again, we thought, looks easy. May as well just bring all the white Snickers. Uh, okay, so here is the... <laughs> why, don't, why does anyone want, no one wants to see this. It's just a candy bar on top of a piece of cake. And this cake is officially softened to the point of like this not being a good idea. Let's pound this and then we'll pound the milk chocolate and then figure out what we're doing with the last one. Maybe make some kind of final creation with the leftover ingredients. Sounds good. You've 
going on without me? Oh, where did they go off? Come on, that a crumb crust. Yeah, that is not crumb like in any capacity. Oh. That is dense, sticky, and rich. You gotta enter the pain cave from time to time. But this time, the most entertaining part about it is the fact that we were completely oblivious to the fact that we would be. Usually we know which ones we're going to enter that with. We know we've gone a little bit too far and that we've tried to do something a little bit too crazy. This was not one of those times. <coughs> and before we, before we try to wrap this experience up, we probably will have some people on this video say that they don't like seeing us in pain. But the thing that I've come around to realize is that by entering this level of like discomfort is the thing that has made it so that our food tolerance and our stomach capacities have grown to the place where we are able to do some of our other videos that we aren't in pain comfortably. Yeah. So trust me, even though we appreciate the fact that you guys don't like seeing us in pain sometimes, you're benefiting from it in some of our other videos. Absolutely, because if we've never entered this state, like you said, in our early videos, like our way earlier videos, then the ones that we do when now- things got real ugly. Yeah, yeah, when, when we do things now and we're just having a good time, despite the fact that we're eating so much, it's only made possible by those experiences. Pushing yourself to your limit definitely has its benefits. Okay, I will not ramble. We've got one slice of cake left. We've got a Snickers white and we've got four peanut brownie Snickers. Do you want to pair anything together? No, I do not. Will I though? Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen. How would you plan on eating that? Oh, I'm actually gonna use a utensil. Believe it or not. I don't believe it. You know what? I'll join you. That way I'm kind of surprised by every bite what's in it. Cause it's just a mess. for a second. All I'm gonna say is wow. That was a crazy time. So unexpected. And I'm sure so many people enjoyed it for so many different reasons. Some for the creations, some for the pain, some for just the sheer fact that we just came across like a couple of total idiots <laughs> thinking that that was going to be easy. Wowie, isn't that just how it goes though? Sometimes you get in over your head and when you're a couple of idiots like us, there's definitely quite a few times where you've unintentionally gotten yourself in so above, so beyond over your head. Yes. Is there anything that you would like to add to that experience with the exception of the fact that the Cheesecake Factory is the greatest place on earth? Yeah, the greatest place on earth. And I also cannot believe how good that waffle sundae was. That ice cream waffle. It was just so epic. Milk, that, this caramel sauce. Blew my mind. Another great one. Yep. But I think that that's all I need to say. <laughs> yep. Anyways, I had a good time. Yeah. Wild times. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it to be a wild time, please make sure to give it a like. Please jump in the comment section and say something fun. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're watching right now and you are not yet subscribed. We uh, have straight cold hard facts that about 60% of you watching right now 
are not subscribed to this channel. So, if you are watching the video, please make sure to subscribe, it would really mean a lot to us, and hopefully we will see you again in the next video.